Right, good afternoon guys. Uh, welcome back to Microbytes. We are looking at today making uh, a way of collecting points in our game. Um, we're going to do this, um, which will actually set us up quite nicely for making enemies because they actually use very similar blocks. Um, so as you can see here, I have created um, our initial setup um, with our sprite. Um, way of movement and the fact that the camera can follow the sprite and our tile map is set up here. Now this time what we're going to do is in our tile map we are going to add a tile of our own. So you're going to create a tile. I just want you to make something really basic. Um, so just color in the full square with just one color. All right, and what you're going to do is you're going to place this tile on your map. I'm going to put a few of them around, and it will come clear a bit later on as to what is uh, going to appear in those spaces. Right, so you can say down on that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six of those I've got. I just remember that for now. Um, so what we're going to do is we need to tell the game um, to put collectible items uh, in those in those spaces, um, and we're going to call this. So you're going to create a function. You're going to call it. I'm going to call this one one point one. Oops. One point because these items are going to be worth one point, and you can make more items later on worth different amounts of points. Um, but for now, we'll just make it one point. So, this is going to be the first function. Uh, you may as well, while we're thinking about it, just chuck and call one point in here so it appears into the game when it happens. All right, so for this block, we need a for element this one here okay and we want array of all array of all locations you're going to stick that where it says list just here and select your yellow space so that means that it's going to put something um, on every yellow space. We're going to create a sprite which gives us points. Oops. Check that in there. And we'll give it a we'll give it a new name, new variable. We'll call this um, actually cancel that for a second. Well, we're going to choose something, and then we'll give it a name. How about that? Oh, we can choose many, many things. Uh, we could use food to gain points, um, coins to gain points. I'm going to, I'm going to go with coins for starters. You can get this. I think there's gems and other things in there as well. So I'm going to choose. Oops, I'm going to choose my coin. Done. All right, and then I'm going to rename. A new variable called coin. Okay. So coin and that is type and you could create a new kind um, but for now I'm just going to use the term food because it's sort of like food. It gives, it gives us points. It doesn't give us health but it gives us points. That's, um, that's all right. Somewhat similar. Um, I could I could change it up later on if I wanted to. Um, right. So we're going to place. Mm -mm -mm. Place my sprite on top of, and we're going to grab this value here. And we're going to place my sprite on top of the value. So the value is 
the yellow squares. Um, what's going on here? Ah, oh, that's my sprite. <laughs> place food. Uh, where are we? Place coin, sorry. Place coin on top of Billy, not my sprite. So now, here we are. We've got coins on top of the yellow spaces, which is great. Except for we don't want to see the yellow spaces. We want to see the ground underneath the yellow spaces. So we just need to tell the computer to set Set. And we're going to choose the ground color uh, at, and again, value there as well because everywhere there's a yellow square, we want the ground to show up. So the ground is there, and there's a coin on top. So that's how that works. So now, if I run around on the screen, there are coins everywhere. However, you can see I through them I can't collect them so now we need to be able to collect them so we need to create a new block um, that helps us to when we run over something uh, it will it will collect the, the coin so we're going to go into oh, um, what we'll do is I have to stop there <laughs> running out of time so I'll stop there for a minute uh, and we'll just click into the part two of this video and we'll see how to collect the coins um, and add a score value on the screen.